Scare Claw is here and it is top tier in my hands. Let's go. Chain link blocking the Alubur from my Apollo. That's gonna search for Libitum, isn't it? I guess that's fine. I'm gonna imperm you. We're gonna keep the Apollo negates. You're stuck in defense, mates. In hand, in hand. Double Alibur, hard ones return. Gany, copy a card in the graveyard. Is that gonna copy the reborn? He is reborning. He's activating unveiling a special summon a monster from the hand. Chaining Patronus to fill his hand with banished spells. That's gonna be another unveiling plus the by street. I think I allow it. Unveiling second effect. All oh, right. That I can't chain to his witchcraft or card effects. But he has to do it during my turn. So I will just negate it during my turn. Aruru? Aruru? Why summon Aruru? What is Aruru gonna do? What? Creation, search. <laughs> In the imperm row! <laughs> Jason, you're not paying attention to the impermanence? Always set your imperm in the middle. That's the highest chance of them playing a card in the follow-up. Highest chance. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. What is good with this deck? What is not good with this deck? Well, oh, DK, I heard this is not really doing too much on the TCG. Well, they are mixing it with tier laments, which we don't have yet. And this card came out when tier laments and sprite came out in the TCG, so they didn't have much time to really sprout their wings and do incredibly well, like they might be doing well in Master Duel. This card came out early. Konami went out of their way to give us a card that we should not have yet. So that's very cool of Konami to do that, but what's not cool is how expensive this deck is. By the way, this deck is actually a 20 card deck. It's a Duel Links deck, but in Master Duel, you fill the other 20 cards with hand traps. So let's take out all the hand traps that you could put in whatever you want. So let's take all of that out. One, two, three, one, two. There you go. This is my actual deck and what it would look like in Duel Links. If you want, you could also put in Rescue Cat. A lot of people are enjoying that. I felt that I just wanted more hand traps. Why am I not playing Rescue Cat? Because one Scare Claw is a one card combo. You summon any Scare Claw, let's say this one, normal summon it, then you link into the Light Heart, then Light Heart is gonna be searching for the Field Spell. The Field Spell is gonna be searching for any Scare Claw. Well, the Scare Claw you wanna be searching is the Right Heart. So you search that, that's your second monster. Special summons for free activates, then searches for Arrival. This will summon a monster from the graveyard, and it's not once per turn. So if you have multiple copies of Arrival, it's multiple activations. So with the search of Arrival and the activation of Arrival, we have three monsters on the field off of one monster. What do we do with three monsters? We make the boss, the Scare Claw Try Heart. Three effect monsters. All face-up monsters on the field are changed to defense. It's like Baguska. You are unaffected by the effects of defense position monsters, completely unaffected by the activated effects. So if there's a continuous effect like DPE reducing your attack, you are reduced. But if DPE activates to pop you, even if it pops itself or tries to, you are going to be unaffected. So that's very cool. Also, in addition to that, it could summon a scare claw from the graveyard, then search your deck for a scare claw to then summon. So that's nuts. From a Link 3 to two other monsters behind you, what could the other two monsters behind you be? Well, you could give him the ability for multiple attacks with the Astra. Per Scare Claw we have behind our main one is gonna give us that many attacks. So if we have two behind him, that's two attacks with Astra. The other one could be Balone, which gives you piercing damage. So you're putting their monsters in defense and you're piercing right through them. And the other one is going to boost up your attack by 300, not really needed as much. Also, we have the quick play spell, which could be used in the damage step to boost up your Scare Claw link by the attack of an opponent's monster. 
So if you have multiple attacks plus gaining the attack of their monster, that's huge, plus piercing. You're gonna one turn kill with this deck a lot. You're also gonna have a decent turn one by just summoning the Sc Scareclaw Tryhard. The field spell is also gonna be dealing with Floodgates. That's great. You have three defense monsters on the field. Pop the back row, pop the monster, pop whatever. The Vsauce is gonna help you summon Baron Diflor. If you have Vsauce, you pop your Lightheart on the field, you summon Vsauce, then the Lightheart says if you have Michael uh, Vsauce on the field, you could summon it from the graveyard. So that's a free plus one. And because it's a link, I should say tuner, you could make Baron Diflor. Level six tuner plus the Reichheart is Baron Diflor. So either you one card combo, make your big scare claw try heart, or if you have multiple extensions, you're gonna have a Baron to floor, the Kakata King, which could negate a monster effect, or Baguska alongside your try heart. There's a lot more to this deck, but watch the gameplay. The deck is nuts. Let's go. One card, one card. Only one card to do this. This card was from Power of the Elements. This card is quite new in the TCG. I think this card's only about three months old. Three months new. They don't give us three months new cards. We add in, we add in. Unfortunately, the one card combo does play into Nibiru. We're on the third summon right now. And then we have to summon two more times. Now, this is the one card combo. You grab a rival, you got one card combo, but I could grab a negate instead because I have more than one card. So if you have two cards, you have a negate. Omni negate plus the scare claw. There we go. One, two, three. Negate anything. Everything in defense, unaffected from monsters in defense. This will boost us up. And this will, the monster we're gonna grab is gonna give us additional attacks. We could get additional boost if we want. I'll grab additional attacks just to get ready for next turn. Got him. Damn, I love this. This is great, this is great. Make sure Lancia does not mess up our combat the grave. Make sure you toggle on to flip up the slash early. You gotta flip this up early if you wanna use it to negate. It's gotta be resolved face up in order to negate anything. Drop late. What the shite? I can negate. Gotcha, mate. IOC, uh, they, they skipped IOC. Negate. So what does this do if you have three or more? What do you put in the graveyard? This card sent to the graveyard. You could target one rock monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. That's not going to work. Okay. You're fine. I will veil you. Get veiled. Negate. I love that you could build up your field and they can't attack into it unless they link. And if he called by the grave, we had. Lancia. I could call by the grave to play around a block dragon right now. Do you think he's going to whip out the block? No, save for block effects. What do you mean? It's an inherent special summon. You can't chain to block. I could call by the grave the block dragon in the graveyard. Call the block. You could call the block effect in the graveyard. You could do that. Okay. To D. Now, if you wait to Lancia, just understand that he could be playing off the top of the deck into Guardian. Guardian can negate Lancia. All right, let's go. Doki Doki. To D. Nate, loving the content. Keep clapping fools and sending them back to Fortnite. You know it. Thank you. That's Grand Knight. So let him search, then Lancia on resolution. To D. Herald of Arc Light. Okay, I could call by the grave your Herald Arc Light. Tribute this card, negate the activation of my Lancia. Okay. Toggle on. Toggle on. Lancia. 
tackle. Target my is going to go back to my hand. Okay. Lancia. And then he's going to arc light and we're going to call by the grave and then it's GG. What are you reading, mate? You negate me. I negate you. Negate. Got him. Outplayed. Now we are going to have quadra. We're going to have five attacks piercing boosted. Pretty good. If he doesn't scoop, we have five attacks. The tryhard gives you two monsters. The field spell gives you a third monster. And it could be pierce, boost, boost? Can I triple boost? I'm gonna get tryhard huge. He's gonna get 2300 attack boost. Holy moly, you're done, you're done, you're done. Activate. That's the pierce. Wow. What a jerk. What the shite was that? You're still done. You're done. Activate. Right card. Right card, come forth. I could pop any card in the field with the field spell. I could pop floodgates. I could pop his monster. But I don't want to. I don't want to. I am doing no such thing. Arrival gives us protection from battle and card effect destruction. Oh, hey, draw one. Why not? I still have a normal summon. I could normal summon, link off. I have no restriction from doing so if I was negated, right? I think. Let me uh, double check. So you negated our effect that locks us out. So I, I have the full extra deck, everything I want. I have quadra attack. I pop a card in the field. I have a normal summon. I can link. I'm going to forego all of that to attack. Number one. Attack. Number two. Attack. Number three. Of four. Lethal. This is a Chad deck. This makes me feel like I'm playing dinosaurs. I feel like Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. They both are kind of the same. They put monsters in defense. They attack everything. They pierce. <laughs> is, did this just power creep dinosaurs or what? Full combo. One card, full combo. Let's go. You want to see the full combo? This is why I love one card combo decks. One card combo means you fill up your deck with one card and then just hand traps, that's it. Generally, my one card combo decks are 20 hand traps plus the rest of the cards. Because you know that with a handful of hand traps and the one card, you got combo. Let's go, let's go. Hang in there, hang in there. Perfect. Come to me. Reichhardt is a very expensive one card combo deck. And it, I'd say it's pretty good at lethaling also. This will boost you up. You got double attack. Let's go. Grab the extension. So the link one gives you an extender and then Reichhardt gives you another extender. The extender you use to summon a monster from the graveyard is not even a hard once per turn. You have three copies of Arrival. You could use all three in one turn. Summon, summon, summon. It's nuts. Julio is a mobile player, as you can see, continually having connection problems. Acro, let's go. And the Arrival is going to give us protection from battle and card effect destruction. So what's the out? Lightning Storm, I'm protected. You drop with me, attack over me, I'm protected, then I'm in effect by next turn. And there you go, one card combo. Everything is in defense. I'm unaffected from monsters in defense. I think that's the biggest animation in the game, I think so. 
But wait, there's more. There's more. So now we're locked into Scareclaw monsters only, but that's okay. This will boost us up by 300 per Scareclaw. And we have Straddle, which will protect us from being targeted. Carter effect activates that targets a Scareclaw. Negates. And the deck with more than one monster could potentially make a Baguska with the Triheart, a Kakata, which could negate a monster, and or a Baron to Floor. Possibly. This is the anti Imperm. What the hell? Okay. We're dealing with back row. We have destruction protection, targeting protection, monster protection. We're protected from everything but the back row. If it's a back row heavy deck, we might have a problem. Numbers avail. What the hell? You go into defense, but that you're not negated. Shite. Might as well draw one. I already have a monster on the field. I can inflict piercing while you're in defense. Even if you have Rongo, I could pierce you to death. Quiet, DK. I'm trying to listen to the song. Third. Wait, that's not Rongo. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? What the? That's not Rongo. You could detach two materials, banish as many special zone monsters your point control as possible. I'm unaffected, but I, maybe I don't want my other dudes to be... I don't want them to be banished. Maybe I should Veil her anyway. When else, what else am I going to use it for, right? Just Veil? All right, all right. Thank you all for the support during the mic troubles. Mike just stopped working during the stream. So my mic settings are probably horribly off right now, but thank you. Numeron Network. Everything goes to defense, though. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it's good. You're not going to do it? Oh, you mean you can't? You can't even Numeron Network. Okay. You are so done. You are so done. Done, done, done. Okay, I link off one of them, then I resummon, then I search. Oh, you are big time. We're going to get multiple attacks now. Skill Drain. Oh, shite. How do we outskill Drain? We have to access Code Talker? Oh, Field Spell. I, I got the out. I got the out. You're out. <laughs> yes, this deck's got everything. Let's go. We got lethal. 100% lethal. Should I Nightmare Phoenix? That back row. Get Phoenix popping. Pierce double attack. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you're done. Lancia, Max C. Get popping. Oh, shite. Uh, that was a joke. I was joking. Oh, shite. I can't unicorn now. Okay, it was a joke. It was a joke. Try hard. Pierce. Pierce and double attack. Double attack. Piercing damage. Wait for the damage set. Just like that. Buh. Boost. Boost it. Pierce it. Do my step it. What are you doing? Detach material to protect? Wait, do I still win, right? Detach a material instead. <laughs> okay. Detach a material. Again. Fool. Yes. Let's go. Come to me, Belone. Belone. Arrival versus arrival. Pierce to OTK through the Doyen. You think we could get there? When is he going to Don Marion? When is he Don Marion? This is it, right? Target a monster in your monster zone and one monster your opponent controls, gain attack equal to the opponent's monster. That's it. That's it. Ew. 
if he messes up and negates, then we got him. The claw. The claw. Field spell, he might negate field spell. Field spell is going to give us the pierce. I don't know if we try to YOLO. We already have the pierce. So we have double attack. Double attack. So if we go in, he negates the pierce, we attack again. Yes? Come to me. We got this. We got this. I guess I have to resummon him, but he'll probably negate, right? Negate! This is the defense piercing, mate. Ah, oh, shite. We still have double attack. This is good, this is good. It works. It works. It works. If he negates the pierce, we still double attack. Holy shite, this is it. This is it! Doesn't this stop it? At the start of the damage step, when your cyburst battles, you could banish this, destroy the monster you control. We have to do it after the dance start of the damage step. <gasps> okay. We got him! No way! Ba boost! Boost! Fool! Yes! Let's go! Come to me. Uh-oh. What you got? What you got? Oh, shite! I think I have to ash this. And then just Scareclaw pass. Don't activate any more monster effects. We chill, we chill. Field spell. Field spell add. So if he gammas us, it gets out of the way. And then we'll be summoning you, and then we're going to make the link three. Oh, shite. He didn't do it. We have negate anything. He didn't do it. Negate anything. Okay. Let's go. Woo! Edgem Chain. He could pop my back row with the Chimera. He can't make Chimera off of this. What is he going to make? We didn't get much luck. APK to D. Target a face-up card in the field and negate its effects. Well, it's forever negated. Chain link block. What? I'm going to negate the graveyard effect. Oh, you're blocking. Shite. What are, what are you doing to me? What is this? Genius? Target a uh, face up. Mo okay, I could just highlight it here. See how great this is? Instead of doing this and being like, what's happening? You can just highlight. Target effect monster. Neither perk can activate that target's effects this turn. That does nothing. Okay. We're going to negate the shadow dragon. Negate. Gotcha. You maybe should have had APK on the final chain link. Related cards. Wow. Wow. If you're bored waiting during your opponent's turn, you now could just check out related cards. Okay. Let's go, let's go. That did nothing. I got you, boy. I got you big time. You are done. You are done. Field spell could not pop unless there's another defense monster on the field. And I can activate this to get another defense monster on the field. This is multiple attack. I already have you. This is the piercer. And this, I can now pop a card in the field of the field spell. Called by the freaking grave, mate. Is this for both players, a monster on the field and defense? Three on the field. Three or more, including his. We got him. We got him. Built-in website. Yeah, but it's going to show you cards that they're not even using. All right. I only play two field spells. Come to me. Come. Reichardt. 
We're going in. We're going in. Reichardt. Can we just win? We can just win, right? We winning. We winning. We're actually just going to win. Summon a monster from the graveyard, right? If a link would be destroyed, target, summon, and that's multiple attacks. The triple attack. Draw a card from my deck? Why am I drawing a card from my deck? What? If you have three or more, three or more defense on the field, you draw a card? What? I did not know. Arrive. This is just not going to be anything. That's fine. Triple defense. I have triple attack. I have 9,000 damage. If I just destroy you, I then attack for game. Let's go. Triple attack. Add back. That's fine. Were there any links worth linking into? I guess we'll link MP2. If there is an MP2. I only gain attack for every monster I have in defense. So if I make the link, I lose an attack. Wendy. Wendy! What the hell, Wendy? I'm completely unaffected from this. Got him. No pierce. Damn. No pierce. What are you spinning back? Wait, it destroys. It doesn't spin back. We have two attacks, not three. Shadow core. What? Summon. Okay, continue the attack. Wipe them out. Come on. Wipe them up. Wipe them up. We chilling. Let's go. Let's go. Should I have double tryharded? Should I have double tryharded? Was double tryhard the way? So we'll think about if double tryhard should have been the way. He ended. He's got gamma. He got gamma. I got double attack. We double field spelling. Now I could link. No, mask screen is actually okay. Let's not get gamma though. Don't get gamma. Don't get gamma. He doesn't gain his effects in the non extra monster zone. He's unaffected in the monster zone. Only the other effect. He does get the effects. He does get the effects. Holy shite. That destroys everything. Oh my god. He's gonna gamma my mascarina. We're actually okay. We're okay. Do you see this? The aerial, it tells me what aerial is doing, but not what hedgehog or beast are doing. They, they don't have it on all the cards yet. They gotta work on that. Because this is such an amazing feature. Let's go. Let's go. Come to me. Called by the grave. And they were good. We're blowing it. We're blowing it. Let's go. Activate. I do have called by if he does something nasty. That is right. We pop it. Wipe the fool. Edge imp chain. I am not negating that. I do not think so. I will not. You are finished. Scare claw. Three and O oh, win streak.